We've come behind the scenes here on the reserve to the swan pipe. This is the netted structure you can see on the corner of the rushy as you look out from the Peng Observatory. It's our catching device that aids our research work on our birds, particularly our Buick swans. It works as a baited system. We feed up it twice a day, get the birds used to coming in and out on a regular basis. And then at certain times of the year, when the weather's in our favor, the birds are behaving themselves. We can bring them in one morning, get hands on with them, fit them with uniquely numbered metal rings. That means we can identify that bird for life. And we'll also fit them with color rings, which allow other people to identify them across the flyway as they're heading back up towards the breeding grounds in Russia. Here at Slimbridge, we tend to use two color rings on our Buick swans, those that are yellow and those that are white. The yellow rings are for birds which we know exactly how old they are, so they tend to be fitted to the cygnets or yearlings, birds which are one year old, whereas the white rings are given to adults. Those are birds that will be at least three years old, but we're not able to know exactly how old they are. But our Buick swans aren't the only species of bird which you'll see on the reserve which are color ringed. As spring migration kicks off, we'll see more and more birds start to pass through as they're moving from their wintering to their breeding grounds. And it's always worth checking those flocks for colorings. Often overlooked species, things like black-headed gulls and Mediterranean gulls that arrive on the reserve in spring can have those colorings. We also see them through the winter. Some of these birds are coming all the way from Poland to winter here in the UK before returning back to their breeding grounds. Another overlooked species, things like our grey lag geese. We know they breed locally around this area of Gloucestershire. They winter here on the reserve, but some of them fly all the way to Glasgow to molt every summer to replace those feathers before coming all the way back down to the Severn Estuary. Some of the species of wader that we see here on the reserve are always worth checking out for colourings too. Things like the black-tail godwits and avocets on the South Lake. The black-tailed godwits may include colour-ringed birds that were caught on their wintering grounds in the south of the UK or France, or even on their breeding grounds up in Iceland as they're moving back through. And avocets that we've seen here, one particular individual, Red H9, who was ringed as a chick in 2011 over in Cambridgeshire and now breeds here on the reserve at Slimbridge. So when you're out birding, whether it's here on the reserve at Slimbridge or other sites across the UK, don't forget to always look out for colourings. Lots and lots of species carry colourings, so you'll be able to find them on a whole variety of birds. Report those to the projects, that helps their study look at survival, how long these birds may live, how far they may travel, but also adds to your enjoyment as well, allowing you to find out more about the birds that you're seeing. And here on the reserve, you can use the colour rings on our cranes to help catch up and see what they're doing this breeding season. So this spring, why not head down to the reserve here at Slimbridge and see what colour ring birds you can see out on the reserve. Yeah.